Hello, how are you today? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the gradient using differentiation. Uh, it's an introductory lesson to calculus. So let's do this. Okay, so to be able to differentiate, we need to um, use a few rules. And I'm going to put the rules by the side here so that we can keep them in front of us and use them to work as we go along. Uh, the first one is if we have a curve like y is equal to x to the power of n, then uh, to differentiate that, dy by dx, would be equal to um you multiply by the coefficient of x which is one in this case n x to the power n minus one okay so multiply by the power and reduce the power by the coefficient and uh, reduce the power by one and the next rule would be uh y if y is equal to kx k being a constant then um dy by the x would be equal to k it would just be the constant yeah and if we have a uh, y is equal to um for example c let me use c uh if c is just a constant on its own with nothing else no variables then the y by dx would be equal to um zero so those are the three rules that we're going to be working with to help us differentiate Let's look at some examples if we have y is equal to um x squared let me just roll this part here uh, so you know that all the rules are on the side. Um, if we have y is equal to x squared, then using this first rule here, uh, dy by dx would be equal to, um, um, if we times it by the power, the power is 2, 2x, two and if we reduce the power by 1, n minus 1, then that would be 1, and we can just leave it as 2x, yeah? Uh, another example, if we have y is equal to x to the power of, of 7, then uh, dy by dx would be equal to, uh, if we multiply it by the power, then 7x, and if we reduce the power by 1, then that would be 7 minus 1, which is equal to uh, 6. Now here's another example, y is equal to 6x to the power of 5. y is equal to 6 x to the power of 5 yeah and if we want to go by this rule here then dy by dx would be equal to um if we times the coefficient of x by the power then that would be 30 6 times 5 is 30 x to the power of and we reduce the power by 1 and 30 x to the power of 4 and that would be the answer to that one now here's an example with a fractional power y is equal to x to the power of a half uh if we use the same rule as we have there then we can have the y by the x we multiply by the uh, power would be half x to the power of a half minus one would be minus a half and that would be the answer to that one here's one with the root sign y is equal to two times the square root of x we know that um um roots are just another way that we write uh, fractional powers and the square root would be uh, so the same thing. The square root of x would be the same thing as x raised to the power of a half. So we can rewrite that as y is equal to 2 times x to the power of a half. Yeah, and then to find dy by dx, we multiply by the power. 2 times a half would be equal to 1. So I'm just going to leave that as, as x. 1x, uh, I'm, I'm going to ignore the 1 and just write down the x. And half minus 1 would be minus a half. And that would be that one done. Now to show you some examples with the second and the third rule, um, if you have y is equal to 2x, now that means um, I'm going to be using this one, and my, my k becomes 2, uh, therefore dy by dx would be equal to um, 2. That's a mistake there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my dy by dx would be equal to 2. And also, if I have y is equal to um, 2, then dy by dx would be equal to um, 0, if I use the third rule there. Yeah? Uh, thank you for watching. In the next lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to find the gradient as a given point. How to find dy by dx when you're given the point x. Yeah?